Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle and I'm here with another knockoff collection video. This time we have 10 wild knockoffs that I think you're gonna like. Now some of these I got years ago, I don't even remember when or where. So I'll do my best to see if I can put some links below if you wanna hook up with these. But they're fun to look at, cool toys. And at the end, I'm gonna have a bonus couple guys that I'm not sure if they're knockoffs or something a little bit different. You'll see what I mean. So here we go, 10 wild knockoffs. Be right back. So first up, we're going with a knockoff of G1 Broadsides. Now, he didn't come with a gun. I think he actually came with two axes, but I can't find the other one. And I'm not sure if he came with missiles. I got this a long time ago, but it is a cool knockoff. Looks very similar to the G1. However, it has all plastic. There is no die cast tail fins. There's not a lot of weight to it, but it's still a pretty cool looking transformer, very close to the original. And as a bonus, it actually comes with a knockoff of this little MicroMaster. He changes into a jet so he can accompany him in the air or he can actually land on him when he's an aircraft carrier. So obviously I'm gonna show you all his modes. Remove the ax. And there he is as an airplane. Now, unlike some knockoffs, this one actually has actual Autobot symbols on him, but definitely not a Hasbro product as far as I'm aware. Not unless they put out a special edition one that actually was all plastic. Looking at it, I can't seem to see any copyright information, trademark information, which screams to me, knock off. Now without the missiles, he looks a little bit incomplete. Here's his little MicroMaster companion, who I believe is actually a Decepticon normally. I don't remember the name of the MicroMaster. If you know it, please put it in the description below, but this is a good knockoff bonus of the MicroMaster. This is not one of the 10. And so a neat jet and an accompanying small jet so they could do air attacks. But of course he also has the aircraft carrier mode. Now the chest piece, it's supposed to be springy, and it kind of is, though it's a little stiff. But there he is as an aircraft carrier. What's pretty neat is this small jet, once he lands on broadsides, has a little peg on the bottom that can plug into a number of holes on the back of the aircraft carrier so he can stay in place, even upside down. Overall, a really cool broadsides knockoff. I got this years ago, I don't remember where, but pretty neat. So the next one up, we have a knockoff of the Japanese exclusive transformer Raiden. Now Raiden is a group of six train transformers that merge into one large robot. And it's a very simple transformer. Now I'm not gonna take all of the guys off, but I just wanna show you, they are rather simple in form and transformation. And their train modes are pretty simple to get into as well. But they are cool transformers. Again, you could normally only get this set for a lot of money in Japan. And to my knowledge, I've never had an original Raiden. This is an awesome duplicate of the original. And until I get an original, which is probably gonna be never, this is definitely a good substitute. Again, this is something I have had for years. I don't remember exactly where I got it. Could have been at a con, could have been some eBay auction, but definitely a cool knockoff. For our third knockoff, we have this little guy. He's actually supposed to be a very small Fortress Maximus, which kind of is weird to say it's a small Maximus. The head comes off. I actually have several of these. This one, apparently I've misplaced the legs for the head, but I'm sure I have some other one elsewhere. It is pretty poseable for being a very small transformer. I believe this is actually a knockoff of the Fortress Maximus from the Optimus 3-pack that Chrome Dome, Fortress Maximus, and a smaller version of the G1 Prime whose head came off. He comes with the big gun, not the small one. He doesn't have ramps and you have to like remove and attach pieces to transform him, but he can become a battle station. Unfortunately, you can't actually make him into the city just because the legs don't fold the way the original does. So it's pretty much battle station or robot. But a cool, small, and differently colored representation of the character and definitely a cool addition to any Transformer collection. You can have your big Fort Max say, I think I'll call him Mini-Me. Now this one is a very cool one. This is a little bit of an oversized version of Cyclonus. 
And obviously he's a different color. He is white with a purple face with green eyes and teeth. I got him second hand. This is the little purple gun that he comes with, but he is just like the original G1 Cyclonus in the way he transforms and the way that he looks. And he's got all the same posability, as in it's kind of limited. Just like the G1, unfortunately there's no place for the gun when he is in his jet mode. And as you can see, this one's a little old. It's got a little bit of rust on it. I might try to clean that up using some rust remover, but you could use this as a shattered glass version of Cyclonus, a distant relative. And again, oddly, I don't know if this was put on by the previous owner or by the manufacturer, but he does have a Decepticon symbol on his nose and on his chest in robot mode. I think I broke him. Crap. I might be able to fix him later. So a pretty neat version of Cyclonus. I have to say the plastic does not feel the most quality, so be very careful. You might break him like that. Shh. Now this is one of the coolest knockoffs I've ever found, and I actually have it in the box. This is a gold change robot version of Snaptrap, leader of the Seacons. It's a very cool looking box. The packaging inside shows the figure. He's actually wearing the Piranacon head, but technically I suppose this could be the leader of the Seacon Pirates from Beast Wars 2, but he kind of has a Decepticon symbol, so we'll go with Snaptrap. Now this actually goes perfectly with those brand Brand new things that were just put out. The Golden Lagoon Transformers, the Gold Optimus Prime and the Perceptor and the Beachcomber and Sea Spray and all that because he looks like he was dipped in Electrum. What's great is he comes with all the pieces to form Piranacon and they're loose in there but the fists actually have little pieces so that you could put one of the Seacons in his hand as a weapon. But again, they're loose, they come right out. Little glue will fix that. His joints are a bit stiff. I haven't taken them out of this box like ever. But as far as looking like Snaptrap, he appears to be of comparable quality. Can feel some die cast parts. He's even got little heels, though they don't help him stand that much. Here he is with his weapons. Now his shield is fully functional on the back and you can pop it into his shoulder if you want in robot mode. But this is a very cool guy and you can move the lever on the back to make his guns go back and forth. Here he is next to an original G1 snap trap. And as you can see, they're pretty much in exact proportion to each other. I don't really see any differences in the mold other than the coloration and of course the stickers or lack thereof. So this is a very cool version of Snaptrap. I don't know if they made gold colored smaller Seacons to go with him. And so far he doesn't feel brittle. The old gold plastic curse doesn't seem to be applying here. So it's early in the review of this guy, so we'll see. There he is in turtle mode. Again, you can move the switch to make the cannons go back and forth, reciprocate. I don't know what they call it. I thought they were supposed to reciprocate. You can put his gun on the back as well. So that is kind of loose, just like the original. The mouth does open and he is perfectly in scale with the G1 in turtle mode as well. Not really sure that this is a robot in disguise because I don't see a lot of real life turtles that look mechanical with cannons on their back, but overall a really neat knockoff. So our sixth one here is a knockoff of Grimlock, but not the original Grimlock. This is actually the pretender inside robot of Grimlock or the Kmart exclusive legends version of Grimlock. And he's in very, very psychedelic yellow white and orange colors with even a little green to boot he looks a lot like a g2 european version the gun has a little post it doesn't stain his hand very well but at least it goes in there somewhat and there he is as a t-rex though not the most intimidating t-rex i love you you love me you know what i mean but the colors definitely detract he's not in the original gray he's not even in the g2 turquoise or blue but still a very cool if crazed on drugs version of grimlock now this here is a bit of an oversized aerialbot jet actually air raid who is normally black but this one is gray no autobot symbols this was on a card at one point it does not come with weapons as far as i recall and like some knockoffs this is really a piece of crap. It's kind of cool to look at, but when you're transforming it, you can accidentally pull it apart. The arms fall off. In fact, I think it's actually broken. So it's a neat thing to look at. I wouldn't transform it much. It's kind of air raids 
kind of, um, shall we say, inbred cousin. If you see one of these, don't pay more than a dollar for it, but it's kind of a cool thing to have, albeit kind of dull. His face is pretty much gray with very little detail, and it's got some wild stickers. So I lost track as where we are. Um, hopefully the editor will put in the numbers, but here we have a knockoff of Skull Cruncher. Now recently I did a video on an alligator version of Optimus Prime, which was kind of Skull Cruncher. This is not in Optimus colors. This is not in Skull Cruncher colors. And when you look at this face, I mean, really look at that face. He's way too cheerful to be in a war. The headmaster does pop off, does kind of unfold and transforms, and there he is. The rest of the body, he has the Skull Cruncher gun. So at the very least, if you are missing a Skull Cruncher gun for a G1 and you come across this, it may be worth it just for the gun. He's got a purple tail, transforms just like the original Skull Cruncher. The one thing I will say, he's actually got two left feet. In the front, this is a left foot and this is a left foot put on upside down. So he actually literally has two left feet. So it's a neat thing. Again, I wouldn't pay a lot for it. You can put the pilot in its mouth, which is a very odd place to put the pilot, since in this mode you would expect he would be chomping into people. Though again, smile so much, this is probably a vegetarian alligator or crocodile. So it probably doesn't do a lot of chomping. But again, a very cool and wacky knockoff. Definitely a conversation piece. We're down to our last couple. This is a knockoff of Transmetal Rat Trap. And it's actually a bit oversized. This is larger than the original probably, maybe by an inch or two. He's very psychedelic purplish pink, but he definitely looks like Rat Trap, including having this very long tail. All right, let's put him into rat mode. <laughs> We're all gonna die. So there he is as a rat. I have to put the uh, tail whip in his hand, which sticks out of his butt, which is a weird transformation choice. But there he is, again, a little bit different colors than the original, a little oversized. And I have to say that when they engineered this, they kind of skipped out on a few of the uh, posts that hold it in place. But let's see, I think we can put him in Knievel mode. <laughs> so he can roll, but this is not a high quality toy. His wheels sometimes move out to the sides a little bit. Again, it's a knockoff, what do you want? But oversized rat trap, kind of cool. I think I'll call him Bigamy. Wait. And lastly, we have, speaking of different sizes, a very small Optimus Primal. Now this is the optimal Optimus version, so it doesn't exactly look like a real monkey, especially with these honking cannons coming out over his head. I'm gonna try to transform him. We'll see what we can do. He's got this wheel here, because he's kind of a quad changer, because he can be a vehicle. He can be a jet, though I'm not sure that he can actually attain jet mode. Heck, I'm not even sure he can attain full robot mode. I am not seeing an alternate head in here. Haven't really played with this in a long time. And as far as quality goes, well, the wheel just broke off. So be careful with your old knockoff transformers, because if they weren't good quality in the beginning, they're not gonna get better with age. So it's kind of neat, but again, like a lot of knockoffs, not the best quality. I mean that Snap Trap, that was pretty darn good. Sometimes you can find some good ones, but this is not one of them. So, wild knockoffs that break. So that was my 10 wild knockoffs, but I did promise you a bonus. So one is a jump starter. Now everyone knows about jump starters who's really into transformers because you can usually get them for like a dollar and they're not exactly the most difficult things to transform. This is a red version of top spin. Now I am not sure if this is a knockoff because there were some other colors that were licensed to South America. Whatever the case is, he doesn't pull back and go, but he's a neat version of top spin. I don't have the weapon, but he's got the little hand lasers, so he's set. But I said two guys, there's also this jump starter that is not actually top spin or twin twist, but he's the same type of mechanism. So I don't know if this was from the original toy line that Hasbro took the jump starters from. It has a copyright on the back of 1985. It says four star made in Taiwan, but it's a neat little other version of a jump starter. When you fold it up, it has these missiles down here. It feels like at one point, there we go. You can pull it back and let it go and it does kind of flip up, 
not very well after all these years, but it's definitely a different version of the jump starter toy. So I am again, not sure if it's a knockoff because it's not the actual same design. And I'm not even sure if this is a knockoff, though it doesn't have copyright on the back. So it may very well be. Why anyone would knock off jump starters? Kind of beyond me. So there you have it, 10 wild transformer knockoffs, some of which break when you demonstrate them on camera. But I definitely recommend if you find the Raiden, the gold snap trap, the broadsides, you know, if you find them, any of them, and just if they're cheap enough, they're fun to have. So while you're going on your own Transformers knockoff hunt, you might also want to check out these videos over here. Um, if you haven't already, you can subscribe down there. There's social media stuff over there. You can go on that and just enjoy yourself. And as always, have fun and good hunting.